Good morning. So I'm live twice today. Um, this morning I am doing our usual weekly Monday check-in. Um, so hopefully you are, let me just close these windows, you pop up. It's very annoying the way Facebook does this. Pops up lots of different messages for you as soon as you go live and then completely distract you. Anyway, good morning. Hello. Monday the 31st of January. As I was saying, I'm here live twice today and then I'll be live every day this week. So I'll talk about that in a wee second. But um, this morning I am just tuning in to do our usual weekly live with our card pool. And then every day at one o'clock or thereabouts uh, this week, I'll be talking about intuitive life design and the new program that's opening up this Friday. So hopefully you'll be able to join me at some point. All the videos will be recorded um, and popped up onto YouTube as well. So you can get them there or you can see the replay on this page. So it's nice to see you. Good morning. So this morning I'm using this lovely, it's a very funky box that they come out of. Um, it opens up like this. It's very, very lovely. And it is the Starseed Oracle deck. And it just spoke to me this morning because I had seen a post that there's a massive sunspot um, building on the sun and it's about to release some big flares our way which is always a precursor for fresh new energy and insights and in inspiration coming in and can sometimes manifest by way of pain and a bit of sort of tension in the body so if you've been feeling that that's probably why as the sun releases these big m class and a possibly an x class flare d directed our way it'll hit us in the next couple of days and um that energy is always very potent we feel it as energetic cosmic beings so i thought i'll use the star seed oracle deck and as i said it's a really lovely it's a lovely we um deck lovely art book artwork by danielle noel um and the cards created by rebecca campbell so without further ado let's look at them we have got um this first one that came up hopefully you can see that okay the big picture thinking big picture thinking um this is about being the visionary of your own life this is about rising up and thinking outside of the perceived box that you're in to stop limiting yourself by thinking small dream big think big imagine just think everything that is in existence right now started in someone's imagination so you know the very technology that we're we're using to communicate with each other that started in someone's imagination that started by someone having a vision and an idea and then taking steps to make it happen and it may have been that nobody else did that before and that they did it um it's a time for inspired ideas i mentioned about that sunspot and the solar flare coming our way that often brings with it inspired ideas and you know aha moments and epiphanies and these little moments of like oh I've got an answer to a question that I, I has been burning for a long time. So the big picture thinking card, it asks you to tap into that. Um, it's like the Palladian energy in the, star, the Seven Sisters that you can see sometimes in the sky. That sort of Palladian cosmic energy of being the visionary, being the innovator, being the big thinker. And you may think to yourself, oh, I don't have any ideas. Of course you do. Of course you do. You maybe just don't dare to have them. You maybe don't dare to dream. This world of ours needs more dreamers, it needs more visionaries, it needs more artists, more poets, more creative thinkers, more love, more compassion. If you're on my mailing list, you'll have got the newsletter this morning. If you're not on the mailing list, why not? <laughs> um, but if you are on the mailing list, you'll have got that email this morning. And I, I mentioned about love and compassion and about the need to, you know, share that out amongst the world and just to sort of bring more, bring a higher vibration of energy into our world. So. Um, if you missed that or you're not on the mailing list, you can pick it up on the page. It's uh, been shared in the post just beneath this one. But the big picture thinking is asking you to be that visionary, to dream big, to st rise up, almost like eagle energy as well, if you want to take it to a sort of shamanic level, rising up like the eagle and looking down on what's going on um, in the world and seeing things from a higher perspective. And then the next card is also very appropriate, baby steps baby steps so follow your intuition take action but you don't need to wait until it makes sense okay this is where we hold ourselves back and I'm going to be talking about this later today in the intuitive life design lives at, at lunchtime 
I'll be talking about this this week, where we tap into our intuition, we have an idea and we, we have a gut feeling to do something and then we, tr- we sort of wait until we're ready or we wait until it makes sense or we wait until we kind of know the exact destination and the problem with that is that you need to take the first step in order to start things moving because if you don't take the first step nothing changes so this card this baby steps card says that you know whilst you might not know the exact destination you might not know exactly where you're going but you can take steps small little consistent daily steps towards your dreams towards your the vision that you've had this visionary big thinking you know you might have this sort of vague idea of where it is you want to go sort of a rough idea that's okay take a step take one baby step you know um, one baby step in the the direction of your dreams if you want to relate it to a, a physical analogy you know you know you want to go out for a drive in your car well the first thing you need to do is actually lift your car keys then you need to actually go and open your door and then you need to get in the car and then you need to turn the engine on. They're all little steps towards getting you there and your intuitive actions are the same. It's the small little consistent plans and activities and habits that you form every day. Now it's funny because I have been um, going through the warrior goddess kettlebell training Lisa Barwise's five day program this last week. Um, from zero to superhero and it's all about baby steps and consistent daily habits that you get into that help them bring about that superhero goddess energy within yourself that you can then you know follow through on and build upon in order to find health and wellness and and vitality in your life so it's it's actually quite amusing and as always I don't know why I'm surprised the cards always come up with valid things baby steps So don't make the mistake of thinking you have to know exactly everything that you need to do. Take the first step. And maybe that first step is asking someone else. You know, I'm wanting to do this thing, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Well then ask someone else who's done it. What did they do? Take advice. That came up, I think, last week about taking advice. And the final card that came up then this morning was Forge Don't Follow. So Forge Don't Follow. I'm trying to show you the the lovely artwork on these they're gorgeous forge don't follow so what does that mean well it means pave a new path be the leader of your own life again be the visionary be the leader you wish you had follow no one do it your way okay so instead of just following the crowd and going with the way that everyone else is going if you have a gut reaction that that's not right for you and that you have your own path to follow and you are taking your own inspired intuitive action towards the life of your dreams and the way you want to live your life then that's what these cards are saying they're saying be the visionary have a bigger picture of life don't limit yourself to just this little you know this is only what's possible for me think big extend it out it's not selfish it's actually really needed we need more of this in the world we need more visionaries more artists more sort of creative and everybody's creative you know you're creative I've said this before whether it's you know creative in how you do your work and how you um, you know cook your food creative in how you live your life how you know it's not about necessarily being you know an artist as such music you know um, all these different things it's all art it's not just painting all right um, and I say that because sometimes when I say the world needs more artists people just go well I can't paint and it's not about painting it's not about painting it's about the art of following your intuition, the art of, you know, working with crystals, uh, the art of reading the tarot, the art of, you know, listening to someone. That's all art. It's all an art form. Okay, that's what we mean when we say the work needs more artists. We need more listeners. We need more people who can be the visionary and be the leader. And then we need to take these people, you, me, those who are feeling called or resonated with this message. Is there something you're feeling called to do? Is there something that's been niggling at you that's been in the back of your mind that you are needing called, you're feeling called to do? Well, do you know, then you need to do it. And you need to take little action steps, baby steps. 
Think about this, we don't tell a toddler who's learning to walk that they can't do it unless they can do it perfectly. We encourage them and they get up and then they make a wee mistake and they fall down. And then they get up and they try again and then they fall down. Well, when we're learning to follow our intuition, we're doing the same thing. Okay, we're taking those little baby steps each day. Maybe sitting in five minutes of meditation, maybe thinking, right, okay, I'm going to actually just take five deep breaths today. That's going to be my action towards calming my mind to get where I need to be. And I'm going to gradually start forging a new path. I'm going to forge ahead, not follow. So that's the message that's coming from the cards for this week. Take from it what you will. Um, I hope it's resonated with you in some way. So if there is something going on in your head and you're thinking, I feel like I am being called for something, then... Think about that and follow through on it. Take your baby steps and don't be afraid to be the first person to do it. Just because no one else in your family has maybe done something or no one else in your circle of friends has done something doesn't mean you can't be the first to do it. Okay? Your life is what you make it and you can do whatever you set your mind to do. So with that in mind, I will sign off for now. I will be back at one o'clock today, Monday the 31st, and I will be back in live every day at one o'clock to have a chat about some intuitive life design and what that means and some personal stories relating to it. So hopefully you'll be able to join me. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab a cup of coffee and hopefully you'll do the same and I'll speak to you all later on. Bye.